Hey, what's going on guys? This is Mike from MoboxGraphics.com and in this video tutorial, we're just gonna be breaking down the new added effect in Adobe After Effects 2018. So this basically allows you to have much more granular control over the points on a path. So if you don't know, in the past, I've done multiple videos on how to morph shapes in After Effects. You can see here how to make, how to morph shapes, how to morph PNG images, and I even believe to have one, how to morph text, which it's not on the top here, but it does exist. I promise you can go find that. And those are all great tutorials, but one thing that um, is kind of missing was an effect in After Effects to allow you to control each independent point. There are vast, vast, vast doors that this opens, um, but I'm just going to show you kind of how to do it in Adobe After Effects 2018. And so let's just go ahead and jump right in. The first thing I want to note here is that you may actually be able to get this in a in a not so in a maybe 2017 um, or not so recent version of Adobe After Effects. If you have somebody that you know that can go into their Adobe 2018 support scripts files, um, this create nulls from path is just a um, JSX file, and you may be able to just drag this in your support and scripts panel or your scripts UI panel, and it may work for you. I'm not going to add a download link because I don't want to add ownership to this. I don't own it. I don't anything like that. You might be able to find it online, but I don't know if it works. It just might work if you're not running the latest version of Adobe After Effects 2018. So um, now that we got all that junk out of the way, I'm going to show you kind of how we used to have to sh um, morph shapes in After Effects. So let's say you come up here and you create a um, a rectangle, and you create a rectangle like that. You just center up the anchor point. Again, um, all my tutorials, I note this, but this is motion script too. You get this at mountmograph.com. It's not built into After Effects, but it lets me easily simply move the anchor point to the center. I'm going to be using this if you don't have this. You can just press Y on the keyboard and drag it to the center. Um, so what you would have to do is you'd have to come into your shape, open it up, go into the rectangle path and convert to a Bezier path, which basically allows you to now grab the little handles on the end and, um, and morph the shape. So you can create a path keyframe and you can come here and you could add more points to the shape and you're able to Let's see, grab these little points and morph the shape. And what this does is in between the two keyframes, the shape is morphed. The problem is, is that all of these points kind of move at the same speed and you don't have any granular control over when they, when each of these points are being shifted. So I'm just gonna hit Control Z and show you this new tool in After Effects. So you just go into Windows, Create Nulls from Path, and it opens up this new panel here. And there are three different options, points from nulls, nulls follows points, and trace path. Um, the nulls follow points might be useful, and same with the trace path, um, but the point follow nulls, I think, is the one that we want the most. So um, if you just select the path, and then you hit points from nulls, it actually creates four null objects with each controlling that specific point. So hypothetically, if instead of, you know, I just hit control Z there for a sec. If I added a couple more points, these would also get nulls and they do. So I'm just going to hit control Z and just get rid of those. So this brings in so many new effects. Um, one thing I noticed is that sometimes the shape doesn't line up on the nulls. I don't know why. I don't know if that's a bug. I don't know if I'm doing something wrong, but if that happens to you, it's real simple. Just go into your um, transform properties in your shape layer and you could just move the shape so that way it's you know bumping right up into the null objects just like that that looks pretty good um, you might want to be able to you might want to zoom in and just kind of make sure it's perfect um, I'm not sure why it does this I tried to find a solution to it and I can't seem to find a good one that works all the time so that's the only one that actually works for me. So now what I can do here is I can create some keyframes. So on these null objects, I can hit P on the keyboard, set position keyframes, go down a couple seconds, and now I can start morphing these into different shapes. So let's say I wanted to morph this into a triangle. I could very easily do that. 
Um, what's great about this is now I have all of this position information. So I could say this is the X direction. So I can just paste that X direction on that. So I know that it's perfectly linear. And I could, um, in fact, I could even center this up. Uh, I won't go ahead, I won't do that. Uh, maybe I will. Let's see if, where's the center of this, proj of this project? Center somewhere. Let's open up the grid here. Seems like this is the center. So I'm just gonna move that to the center. So it seems to be 800 is the center. And then I know that I can move this null object in the X direction, let's say 800 plus 200. And then in this one, I can say, see it's that one, say 800 minus 200. And that way I know that that's perfect triangle. Um, this one just needs to be smoothed over just a tad. And then of course I can do the math to see how high this needs to be. But anyways, that looks pretty good. So from here now, um, it does the same thing that the that the you know the previous version of After Effects allowed you to do. But now I can move all these keyframes um, and stagger them even. And I know this is not going to look very spectacular and great, but if you use After Effects, you're going to know how powerful this is. So again, this doesn't, this doesn't necessarily look that great, but to accomplish something like this in a previous version of After Effects would have been very time consuming, extremely time consuming. Once you start adding some smoothing, again, I'm gonna be using the motion script here. Once you start adding some smoothing, this, this effect just, it, it, would, it would be very difficult to do in the other version of After Effects. So, um, I hope that you understand how powerful this is. Um, if you don't, I'll try to come up with some better, um, better ways to explain the power of this. But um, just take my word for it. There will be times in your After Effects career where you need a point to track another point, and there's there's nothing you can do about it. There's just there's just nothing you can do about it. Um, so yeah. Anyways, guys, um, with this control, you could make this null object follow other things and make it follow it around the screen. Um, you could wiggle this, you can, I mean, you could do so much. It, it's just, it's absolutely amazing. Um, I'm so excited that they added this in After Effects. So um, anyways, guys, just let me know your thoughts on this new After Effects version. And um, yeah, anyways, guys, thanks for watching.